plate size place. What a beauty. Yes, here we are guys, in my kitchen with my lovely place I caught the other day, Solcum, £1.12. And yeah, it's a big fish, you know, plate size, but there's not that much meat on them at this time of year. So I'm gonna show you how to fillet this beast, because um, a lot of people I've seen on YouTube, they don't do it properly, they'll do quarter fillets, so they'll go in there and there, so you'll have two bits and then turn it over and quarter quarter fillet I mean that's okay you know but it's not what you get in a restaurant is it you get a whole fillet you know or whatever it's in a fishmonger so yes so this has been gutted here the guts are out and you can see the meat comes right up here into the head so I like to cut around right into the head up there so you don't waste any right So I've just basically opened it up there, ready for a knife to go in to get the fillet off. Right, so here we go. So I'm gonna turn it around like that. Hopefully you can see, yes, you can see that. Right, and this is a confidence thing. Uh, the bones are right in the middle of this fish, obviously. It's got like a skeleton in the middle. And what I'm gonna try and do now is go in through here, run along those bones, and then go out to release the fillet. And it's, it's more about a confidence thing than anything else. So, you know, sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong, it doesn't matter. So I'm just feeling for that bone. And now I'm, I'm in there and I'm actually right in here, right under this nice bit of meat, actually on the bone, right? So all I need to do now is hold on to this. So there you go, there's the first cut. And if you look in there, guys, here, bones. I have wasted nothing. So then all I do is follow along, release a bit more of that fillet, taking care of the tail into the middle. So when you get into the middle, there's a little bump, there's a little ridge in the middle of the bone. And all I do is I go in over that bone like that and and again this is just a confidence thing so you can see there look i'm i'm on the other side of that ridge the ridge line which is here so again now i've got some nice bones just to follow so it's really easy so all i do now is a bit more along there and then i'll turn the fish around and start pairing off that way Right, so see, I've got, all, it's almost off, look. So look, nothing wasted. And I'm just gonna finish that off nicely there. And just cut it away. So let's just get rid of the, so there's the frame. And you can see I've wasted nothing. And that is the proper way to fillet flatfish. Never mind the quarter fillets, that's kids play. So then I've got a nice fillet there, look, and this is actually gonna be, I'm gonna do this in panko breadcrumbs. So I need this off the skin, I'm not gonna have the skin on. So I could actually trim all this off here, look, in here, cut that out. But I think what I'm gonna do is, just get rid of this bone. So do a little, what you call a V cut, here, and here, just to get rid of those bones. Like that. And that's it. One nice fillet of place. And you can see there ain't a lot, there ain't a lot of meat on that, look. You know, there's enough, but there's not a lot from a big fish like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna skin it now. And it's really, really uh, slime, slimy and slippery to hold. I'm just going to go in and fill it, they get the skin off this now because I'm going to put this in panko breadcrumbs. A nice little spicy number I'm going to do later. So I'm just angling the knife down. It's very, very hard to, to hold this fish, it's so slimy. Ah. Made a bit of a mess of that. 
Almost there, almost there. There we go. So there's the skin. Yeah, it was a bit of a, it wasn't the best job, but again, I haven't wasted anything, just skin. So not even the cats will eat that. Yeah, so there you go, guys. That's how to fill it a place. Obviously the other side is just the same, but in reverse. And I'm just gonna clean this little bit up here. Last little bit of bone. And then this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with this later on. But yes. Fill it in place, done. Right, so here we are, phase two, the recipe. Very, very simple. All you need is chopped, one garlic, a bit of red chili with a few seeds, not too many, because you don't want it blowing your head off. And a nice little bit of ginger there, a little knob of ginger, and everything was really as fine as I can get it with a knife, and that's in some nice oil there, look. So that's my marinade for my place panko place fillets. So all I need to do now is take my little fillets, like that, and I'm just gonna marinate this for a couple of hours in the fridge. Try and get as much of that on as you can onto the fillet. And yes, this was a this was just under two pound in weight, this place, and you don't get a lot of meat, do you? But this is the, uh, the leanest time for place. So I'll start fattening up now through the summer. So there you go, look, I've got a nice bit of marinade on the fish. I'll just put some on like that. And that's just gonna stay in the fridge now for a couple of hours before we do the panko breadcrumb bit. So that's phase two. Right, here we are. Here's the messy bit. Panko breadcrumbs. Best invention ever. They're just fat breadcrumbs really, but they're, they're extra crispy and they um, probably not so healthy because they soak up a lot more fat. That's probably why they're so good. Yeah, you can do your um, katsu chicken breadcrumb and all sorts for those. Uh, I do monkfish as well. So yes, panko. Right, there's my lovely place fillet. Marinated for a few hours. And I'm just gonna drag it through flour, egg, just whisk egg, and the panko breadcrumbs. floured. That can go in there a minute. You can do this twice if you really want it extra crumbs on it. But that's it. Just make sure it's coated. Into the panko. missed any areas and that is it oh, oh, oh. one panko breadcrumb place fillet panko breadcrumb spicy place fillets Chips are ready.
here we go, look at that. Very nice. Panko breadcrumb. Spicy place, Philip. Where's the chips and peas? And there you go. Yes, cat's waiting for that. Yes, mate. Yes, the panko breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbed spicy place fillets. Done. Oh yeah. Really good guys. So good guys, so good. Really really nice. Yeah, not too not not too strong either the uh, the Asian twist. Yes. Very nice. Cheers guys.